That's just more people criticizing me. It has been rumored for years that Lonnie Love is a diva and a toxic person, and recently a shocking clip resurfaced that seems to prove this. It seems like Amanda Seals might have exposed Lonnie for who she really is. But what did Amanda say? And does this mean that Lonnie is actually a mean girl? Not too long ago, ex-co-host of The Real Amanda Seals appeared on an episode of The Jason Lee Show, and Jason asked Amanda a very interesting question. He asked if she thought Lonnie was actually a mean girl like everyone called her. And Amanda's response to that was quite interesting. She evaded Jason's question skillfully with a very sly remark. Adrian and Jeannie are my girls. <laughs> She said that her energy had been high lately and she would rather not reply to the question about Lonnie. Her response went viral as people started questioning why Amanda refused to say no, but at the same time didn't say yes. This led to people digging up earlier clips from 2020 where there had been rumors about Lonnie being the reason behind Amanda's departure from the real. Lonnie unwittingly fueled the rumors with her comments in an interview with the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. She jokingly told the host Ricky that although she had only been there briefly, Amanda had already had enough. However, she quickly dismissed her own comments by saying that the co-host had nothing to do with it and it was the decision of the studio. Amanda had apparently left the show because the studio was trying to censor her opinions. A lot of people actually predicted that she wouldn't last because she was too real for the real. And there were some comparisons about how although Lonnie brought a diverse opinion to the show, she was never as brutally clear about how things worked as Amanda was. And maybe because people liked Amanda so much, Lonnie was sort of insensitive toward Amanda during her short stint on the show. In an episode shortly before Amanda left the show, Lonnie blasted her for cutting her off when she was trying to speak. But if you look back at that episode, this had clearly been unintentional on Amanda's part. Apparently, all the hosts had been talking about Drake's new two-song EP, and one of the song lyrics was about his baby mama. Then Lonnie tried to state her opinion, which was that women should stop having affairs with rappers. But but her co-host Tamara Maori and Adrian Bailon had a lot to say as well. So at first, when Lonnie tried to make her point, Tamara and Adrian unknowingly interrupted her. Can I say something? In a less than positive, positive yes. way. Yes. Interrupting me. Okay. And as she tried to speak again, Amanda interjected and Lonnie immediately blasted her for interrupting her. After that, Lonnie got attacked on social media because it turns out that she herself had a habit of cutting off other hosts when they were speaking as well. So Lonnie apologized and that didn't stop her from throwing some shade at Amanda. In an interview with Madame Muir, Lonnie made some remarks about how the audience hasn't responded very warmly to Amanda's presence on the show. She also added that the show was a learning curve for Amanda who was just new to show business. Her comments sparked a lot of reactions because it felt like she was indirectly accusing Amanda of lowering the show's rating. Plus, Lonnie's comments were unnecessary because Amanda herself had already public stated her reasons for her departure from the show. So it sort of felt like Lonnie was personally attacking Amanda and this fueled the rumors even more. But shortly after Lonnie's interview, Amanda came forward to dismiss the rumors on Instagram Live. In the video, she called out fans who were spreading rumors that were untrue by stating that she didn't like how people were creating unnecessary conflict between her and the co-host of The Real. This, however, didn't clear up people's doubts about Lonnie, mainly because she had already previously had a huge falling out with another co-host and she reportedly had her fired. Way back in 2016, Tamar Braxton was fired from The Real and the drama that followed made news headlines for years. Tamar claimed that she was blindsided by the firing and that Lonnie allegedly had something to do with it. Her now deleted Instagram post from shortly after she was fired in 2016 accused a certain person that she trusted of being responsible for her firing. Immediately, all eyes went to Lonnie because the pair had been tight throughout the show and Tamar's next actions confirmed people's suspicions. She reportedly posted on her social media that she heard from a close friend of Lonnie that Lonnie was actually involved. Lonnie, however, denied the accusations in a six-minute YouTube video. She also revealed that Tamar's ex-husband and former manager Vincent Herbert was actually actually the reason for Tamar's departure. And everybody started to believe Lonnie, especially because the other co-hosts of The Real were on her side. But when, in a shocking twist of events, Lonnie's friend publicly disclosed that Lonnie was actually involved in the whole thing. Her friend Cookie Hall told Comedy Hype in an interview that Lonnie told her that she was going to get Tamar kicked off the show. Cookie revealed that Lonnie even allegedly went as far as sending emails to the show's executives about how Tamar's absence increased the viewership when Tamar was on a short medical leave. 
believe. Everybody was blindsided because they seemed to believe Lonnie when she said she wasn't involved, but it seems that Lonnie might have a habit of being difficult with people, even if they are her friends. Things again got very heated during a later episode of The Real. The drama was between Lonnie and her co-host Garcelle Beauvais, who was supposedly her friend. Lonnie reportedly video called Garcelle to check in when she was isolating because of COVID-19, but Garcelle didn't appreciate Lonnie video calling her without warning and she explained why by saying that she could have been busy doing other things even though Lonnie thought she was free. But Lonnie, who wasn't even hearing her out, immediately snapped back and told Garcelle that she should have just not picked up the phone if she was busy. Their fellow co-host Jeannie May tried to defuse the tension but Lonnie was too upset at Garcelle to care. But this wasn't the only other drama that Lonnie was involved in. Lonnie also had beef with her other friend Monique over her harsh comments about Monique's marriage. Monique exposed this on an episode of The Real where she told the story of how she and Lonnie fell out. Apparently, Monique and her husband Sydney were listening to the show when Lonnie said some very harsh things about their open marriage. Her words put a strain on their friendship until Monique called her up first to find out why Lonnie did that to her. Lonnie replied by saying that she didn't even consider that Monique would listen if she had tried to call her out about it. Monique was surprised that Lonnie felt that way because she truly considered her a friend and she apparently used to watch all her shows in support. But the rift between Lonnie and Monique was just another in the long list of fallouts she's had with the people around her. Lonnie also had drama with K. Michelle, which unfolded on a different episode. She was talking to K. Michelle with her guest co-host, Angela Yee. Lonnie asked Angela about an awkward interview she had with K. Michelle on The Breakfast Club. However, Lonnie inaccurately referred to K. Michelle as Keisha Cole, and that made K. Michelle very annoyed. She took to Twitter to call out Lonnie for being responsible for Tamar getting fired, and Lonnie replied to K. Michelle by asking her to be direct and come insult her publicly on the reel. A lot of people were disappointed by how Lonnie handled that because she could have just apologized for making a mistake and getting K. Michelle's name wrong. However, in the end, both of them forgave each other and posted about it on social media. K. Michelle shared a photo of her and Lonnie and she acknowledged Lonnie in the caption, saying that she was glad that they talked things out. Still, the allegations that Lonnie is a mean girl seem to be piling up. She always seems to be involved in some kind of drama, but what do you guys think? Do you think that Lonnie is actually a mean girl or are her actions and words often misinterpreted by the audience? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below.